Well, it's time for me to continue. So, Sir Spooks, 11 video per 66. Huh? I don't know the math anymore. I don't know the math anymore. Uh, this episode is going to be 33 to 23. That's 11. 33, 32, 31, 30, 30, almost 39. 39, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Yep. 33 to 23 will be 11 videos. So we're going to start that. And the episode after that will be 22 to 12, then 11 to 1. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. That's what we'll be doing. It's been a little while since I did some reactions. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. I'm talking like a lot. I already have like 28 hours of footage. Uh, we're currently in the DLC. So expect maybe daily episodes of Elden Ring for a little bit as I record more, I guess, spooky content. But to give myself a little break of just doing nothing but reaction, reaction, reactions, I'm going to throw you guys Elden Ring content for quite a bit. Then I go back on to doing reactions. So let's get into it. 33 to 23. A man on YouTube named A. Howie uploaded a chilling video a. to Howie. his channel on August 6, 2021, that focuses on him exploring a forest nearby to document for his viewers. Following suit with the rest of the content he publishes soup? on a frequent basis. Following soup. For the first little while of this video, all seems to be going relatively smoothly as Howie works his way around the woods with a flashlight equipped in his hand to help him see where he's going in the cold, dark night. Okay, makes However, sense. It doesn't take long at all for things to take a seriously sinister turn. At about the two and a half minute mark, Howie is able to record something truly horrifying that scares the daylights out of him. Hey, you're gonna get away from my house, okay? You're gonna get away from my house. Okay. This is the it's first shit I see. The audio here is out of sync with the footage, but you can audibly hear Howie panicking and trying his best to run away from whatever that strange figure was, peering its head at the man from behind a tree. As for what that particular creature is, we have no idea, and neither does Howie. Judging by the looks of things, it seems like some sort of strange humanoid entity. A gargoyle. Anything is possible. What do you think he managed to capture on camera? That I don't know, a gargoyle. Look at gargoyle was this to me. some sort of strange humanoid creature? Was it just a person? Or was this whole thing just a hoax to just, get some views? Stop being in the Let woods. Your thoughts Leave the comments. woods. Leave the woods. Move out. Or burn it all down. Either or. Move out or burn it. On the Sir Spook subreddit, a user by the name Spoopy. of Edward Swisser Scare shared a video from the popular social media service TikTok which seems to display some fairly unsettling content. The video was created by the TikTok user Holly Armstrong 20. It's usually an app filled with funny and entertaining videos, well. but this one is much darker in nature. Take a look at the video that this TikTok user filmed and see what they captured on camera. Oh my God. Oh There's my no God. place like home. There's no place like oh home. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. I threw a mask behind me. Good girl. This video is pretty hard to explain. Dolls are typically considered to be innocent toys that millions of children all around the world like to play with See? to have a friend. So the fact that this particular doll is moving all by itself raises many questions. I've been saying for years to throw a oh match or burn oh a house god. down. Oh and Holly? God. Good job. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. That's the fucking doll of uh, Dorothy. There's no place like home. It's clicking the heels. It's, tr it's trying to go home. It is still unclear to this day how this doll was moving in the closet, seemingly all by itself. But we can only hope that the original uploader of this TikTok video got to the bottom of things and either got rid of the haunted doll or moved out entirely. Or she burned the house down. Dead Zone 43 shared the following creepy video over on my very own subreddit Sir Spooks. That sounds actually scared me. All things related to horror and the paranormal. 
There you can share videos of your own or watch videos submitted by the community. The original uploader of this video gives a little bit of context, saying, quote, When I was in the US Army, we were on training exercises in Bemowo Piski, Poland, for a couple of months. Okay. On post, we pulled 24 hour shifts to secure and maintain order at headquarters. End Damn. Point. He then goes on to say that on the government cameras he was post, able to um, access, post. they Ours. picked up something scary walking across the yard. Let's take a look and see what it is. Eminem. And the ghost is back. <gasps> and he fades. Holy f And the ghost is back. <gasps> and he fades. Holy f If this footage is faked or altered in any way, then whoever messed around with it did a terrific job at making it look this convincing. The way the figure, which looks like a human for a few seconds, suddenly fades out of existence is undoubtedly eerie. And the man filming the security camera sounded genuinely shocked and fearful when he notices what unfolded on the tape. Okay. Alright, I have my opinion. This is something that's kind of harder to try to like take. Because this is military. They're on a base. Maybe again, you could possibly say, oh no, they're bored, 24 hour posts. And they're trying to find some type of entertainment. Why post it? It's a ghost. Why post it? The most they could do with the post, with the ghost, is to just not do it. Eminem coming after your job. I know you today you just dropped. The death of Slim Shady. So this host will post a video about ghosts that does the most. Eminem, here is gone. The uploader goes on to say that he and his roommate heard unexplainable running sounds in the attic in addition to this footage. So it begs the question. It's hard not to believe what since it's this like military, and especially what in Poland. Was it doing out there? Is that really a ghost wandering around? and then disappearing without a trace. What's that to gain? Is this just or a brilliant host? Lying. Or is it a camera? And a military. Glitch? Be sure to let me know your ideas in the comments. A Ghost is a volunteer paranormal like a, research organization focused on providing education, like training, a PS1 and game intro. Like Resident Evil. Scientific investigation, data collection and analysis. They state that their goal and is to help those who may be experiencing a haunting and wish to learn more about the phenomenon. Oh, they ma. also operate a YouTube channel where they occasionally upload clips of their various different investigations. A ghost? And as you will soon see for yourself, they can be pretty freaky. In this particular investigation, the crew behind a ghost... I'm sorry, that little... This. This? With that, especially the hand going like this reaching out it reminds me of like the moment i hit start and you're gonna hear a Listen to evil three i feel that just by looking at this it's like it's not the same font as resident well it's the same font as the resident Evil seven like the biohazard and village era of resident evil but just that background gives me so much of like resident with three vibes that i just see the resident evil like shit like that. Be pretty freaky. In this particular investigation, the crew behind a ghost is going to the Homestead Restaurant, located Homestead in West restaurant. Seattle, Washington. Cameras at the ready, making sure that they don't miss out on anything creepy. It also seemingly doesn't take long at all for the crew members to film something creepy. Look at the doorway right here and see the terrifying thing that they were able to capture. Eyes are peeled. Haunting, oh. and wish to learn more about the phenomenon. They also operate a YouTube channel where they will soon. Uh, your fucking finest pardon. What creepy thing? Creep able to capture. Do I have a fucking ghost in my house? What the hell is that? I 
don't know what I'm looking at. So I don't know what I'm looking at. No full length details as to what happened next as a part of this investigation. But this piece of footage may be oh, enough to help prove the existence like, of paranormal entities. What oh, do you think? Be sure to let me know your thoughts. It peeked out and went back. Yeah. Yeah. This next entry covers yeah. a series of three different video published to a TikTok account going by the username Our Haunted House. Okay. The first video shows footage from a camera that was set up in a certain room in this allegedly haunted house that filming a doorway, which seems innocent enough. Okay. But in just a second, we are about to see that this video is anything but innocent or normal. Oh, on my door cam. Door opened. Nobody's there. Did somebody open the door? The door seen in the video <laughs> randomly opens all by itself, causing the uploader to ask from out of view, did somebody open the door? Where he is met with no response, freaking him out even more. A second video shows the uploader talking to the camera, recapping the various creepy paranormal encounters he has had while living in this house. Showing I... that a picture has fallen to the ground all by itself, Brother. despite there not being a window open nearby whatsoever. Nope. He then walks into a nearby room to do some further investigation, which okay. is when this happens. Okay, guys. So a lot of crazy shit has been going down in this house. Okay. Paranormal shit. I... So, first of all... So this picture fell down, and I know what you're going to say. Oh, it was just the wind or whatever. But coincidentally, a bunch fell down in the other room, too. Let me show you. Hold up. Holy shit. The oh. third and final video shows the uploader's dog barking at something he can't oh, quite pin, see. But it's clear that his pet is definitely not too happy with whatever it is he's barking at. Naturally, the uploader proceeds to investigate in order to calm down his dog, which is when he finds something absolutely blood curdling. The dog just started barking for no fucking reason. Let's see. Holy shit, there's somebody out there. Man, it stands up like a T pose monster. It's an alien. A strange shadow figure can be seen outside the house right in front of the front door. See how However, the hands. When the uploader goes outside to investigate, the figure is nowhere to be found. Hell. So, what is going on with this man nah. in this house? Is it all just a hoax? Or is it really haunted? If so, we can only hope that he's looking into moving somewhere else as soon as humanly possible. Burn it down. If I want to go reach from my door, and I see the door just flung away from me, like it shut by itself. Like it opens. Like what the fuck is that? I go grab it and it shuts on itself. Gasoline, propane, butane, and it meets a lighter, a match. I'll just burn the door down. Hopefully that purifies the door. Or um, I just get my trusty, my handy dandy Palo Santo. Get my handy dandy Palo Santo and um, evict that bitch. Devil's Hour Productions is a YouTube channel that is beloved by the paranormal community due to their frequent videos relating to the exploration of haunted places that the crew goes to visit and document their experiences at. In one it's like... You're too broke to get Discovery Plus, or you're too broke for cable, and you want to watch Ghost Adventures, but instead you get Devil's Hours Productions. It's just like Zach Bagan's outfit to the T. One particular <laughs> the mustache, the goatee, the glasses, the hat, the the outfit. It's just Zach Bagan's to the T, but we got our. Mr. Beast version or YouTuber version. Not trying to diss, I'm just saying this is just TikTok YouTube version of our Zach Bagans on Travel Network. Killer upload published by them on September 18th, 2017. The crew is exploring a place known as the Monroe House. As they start Monroe. to set up the cameras in the various have... different rooms, unsettling feeling I heard it before. already begin to transpire. Several minutes into the video, the group begins to get freaked out after an incident involving a camera and a ghost. Take a look and see. Okay. 
pretty damn good. Yeah. Hey, it's going off. Just went off. Yeah, it is. That is weird. There ain't nobody in there. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, camera move. move Where's channel 2 at? 2010? Uh, 420. No, oh. Are you guys moving the camera right now? Right here, the whole yes. time. Holy shit. There's something moving. Devil's hour. Matt and I both saw this camera move by itself and the rims are going off. In yeah. the same area. The rim is yeah. going off over there. Yeah. And then the rim was going off while me and Joe was sitting. The camera in question is one that the group believes has been moved by a ghostly presence somewhere within the house. As the crew is trying to figure out what happened, they get increasingly more concerned and creeped out, understandably. What moved the camera that day? Was it staged or was it a poltergeist? Be sure to tell me in the comments. I did not get my own haunting. Uh, I'm not the only one. I looked it up on Amazon. This light has been an issue for me since I have gotten it. I don't know why the light fits behind me. It alters its colors. There's some times where I could have a session of four hours, it would not change once. And then there's times where I could have a session just 20 minutes in. And the lights will turn either red or purple or blue. It's like one of these companies, you get these remotes. I don't know. No, I didn't get a uh, haunting here. It's just kind of ironic that it went red. Let's continue. With this, it's, you know, it's a whole production. When it comes to production style ghost videos, I tend to take anything with a grain of salt because with production means a lot of cameras a lot of equipment which are not cheap stuff and everything's live and they have all these you know adapters and cables and all this kind of sorts there's a lot of things that can be manipulated and it's easy to buy something that can manipulate stuff you know something that can shake something be you know behind the scenes where someone could be crawling very gently where you can hear them and shake the thing or they could have a little mechanism where you know they could pull strings to get things to move all these things are possible when you have high budgets and high production so i would never not really never but it'll be harder for me to believe anybody with the high budget production when it comes to ghost videos more i would take more things seriously it was like an individual or even if it's high budget you know kind of have things like show us everything like this is this button this is that button this is this button it's kind of hard to, it's just yeah it's just hard to have any transparency when it's just too much into the video youtube channel navagon uploaded a video of a guy singing and another guy oh. playing the guitar inside a room the guy filming pans back and forth between the two musicians but what they probably didn't expect was something strange appearing in the window behind them. Yep. A figure resembling a human can very clearly be seen in the window. As the camera pans back to the window, it's nowhere to be seen. Take a look. Whatever language they're speaking is whatever English, because there's a little bit of English. I don't want language. Why don't people sing in English? They had like no Let's accent look or little to no accent slow down. But when they sing in English and well, when they talk in English, it's like super heavy. The singing is different. Never understood that. Like Tyla, she sings her water or her other song. Uh, little to no English. Could little to no accent. Real ghost or was it all just a hoax? It took me quite a while to find this supposed ghost in the window, but when I finally I've saw seen it, like 5, times, I was that's quite when I'm surprised over it. and creeped out, because it's the sort of thing you just don't notice at first. Could it just be a person standing on top of an object to appear taller, 
Or was it something far more like Adele. sinister? Let me know what you guys think. It's like when Adele talks, she's like, bottle water. Go to a potty. I'm gutty. It's like that kind of stuff because she's British. But when she sings, she sounds American. You know, a lot of different, you know, British artists. They sound English as in like American English. When they talk, they have a heavy accent. For as many years as you can imagine, people from all around the world have been trying to prove the existence all of ghosts. The world. But at the end of the day, do you hear me? nobody has ever been able to 100% confirm that they do, do exist. Like my body? Sometimes you watch a particular video on the internet that looks so compelling that you just can't help but feel as though ghosts have to be real. Okay. This video uploaded to YouTube by the channel Really Haunted on August 3rd, 2019 is okay. definitely one of those videos. In the video, we view security camera footage set up within the channel owner's kitchen where his cat is sitting peacefully. After a while, the cat begins to climb the countertop and it's here in which something fascinating and creepy happens. All Take right. a look. Did you give your cat? Did you give your cat catnip? Hmm. Odd behavior. Real odd behavior. By the window. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really see any strings or. You didn't see anything it's from the window, like, like a finger. It appears to be so simplistic when you first watch it, but oftentimes the most convincing and genuine paranormal videos on the internet are the most simplistic in nature. True. And sometimes all the convincing you need is something like this to be captured on camera. Also, notice the way the cat reacted as soon as it noticed the object moving. Get it the looked fuck out. genuinely surprised and scared, and I feel like if it was all a setup, and the owner was off camera pulling a string, the cat would have noticed. So what do you think about this video? Is this compelling evidence that ghosts are real? Or is this all a big setup? Let me know in the comments. I said, uh, huh. It's kind of hard to... How do you know? It's, it's just, I, I, I just don't know. This one is a little bit more convincing. Again, the most simplistic ones are the ones that are more believable. This one, I can see more believable. In this video shared over to the ghost subreddit by user Best of Us, we watch surveillance camera footage of what appears to be some sort of bar or restaurant during its closing hours, meaning nobody should be inside, whether it be an employee or customer. At first, it appears to be an ordinary piece of security camera footage with nothing of interest happening. But that okay. all changes in a matter of seconds. In order to see what's happening, you have to look at the bottles to the left of the screen. Once you see what happens, you will be scratching your head, hungry for answers. Watch this. Maybe more thirsty for answers, not no lingering. To the left, the bottles. Looking left. All this mono is moving. See that? Why does all the bottles have like the the well, clan hat? The bottle. On the left. Yeah, it's like it's not like a sundown bar. See that? You understand what sundown this means. This is certainly a very bizarre video. When I first watched this, 
I was expecting the bottles to possibly fall over or move around on the shelf, but instead it looks like something from behind pushed it and managed to make it explode in mid-air. As mentioned earlier, this entire incident happened while this establishment was closed, so the only person who could have faked this would be an employee. It could also be the work of a poltergeist, but who knows. Either way, this is still a strange and creepy piece of footage that will keep you guessing for a long time. See that? Again, simplistic videos seems a bit more reasonable. The camera angle, camera quality. Uh, we don't know if the individual who owns this bar is going through some hardship financially, maybe trying to find a way to spark of an interest into their business it's a lot of what ifs and i don't knows that i don't know about so it's kind of hard to dictate if this could be legit or this could be like a hoax so it's yeah the video in question was uploaded by user really Lewis creepy sounds coming from the, the sky of really creepy sounds coming from the sky okay chicken Throughout little about the duration of the three minute video we can see the uploader filming outside where we can hear some genuinely bone-chilling sounds allegedly coming from the sky. Have a listen. It's foggy, you're in Silent Hill. Oh, that's your answer. You're in Silent Hill. You entered the Silent Hill. Turn my head somewhere. Oh, you're in the Hunger Game. Whoa. It's like a siren. I'm talking about like the mythical Greek. Sounds like somebody is. like whistles in the air really really loud 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 whistles but i just opened a secret door and got a war i can't beat those wires that's strange what the hell is that boy boy Gee, I don't know what that Zeus. is. Yeah, it's like some God of War, gotta, Silent Hill type shit. Keep working. I gotta pick this trail up. Oh, he's a trucker. Holy moly! Whoa! A gunshot. Jesus. Yeah, my man enters Silent Hill. I hope this is picked up on the camera. Some people have pointed out wow. that the noise sounds like that of a train. However, the uploader has debunked this theory and says that it is not the case and further confirms this by saying that if it were a train, why would the sound go on for such a prolonged period of time? Whatever the noise was, it was surely creepy and I bet that anybody in the area at the time that heard it was massively freaked out. Tell me in the comments below what you think this sound was. Unless this is like 2001 or two, whenever Spider-Man 2 particularly came out, the one with Doc Ock and him with the train scene, unless the train is like stopping for a whole fucking mile in the same vicinity in the same position, because I can understand a truck stopping and making that noise for that long with duration like literally that long unless it's slowly moving or maybe the railways i don't know you know we do have the old infrastructure in this country and especially our railways are fucked up but besides that unless just like repairing of the train stations or repairing of it's, no it's just it's just odd that's just odd i don't know maybe some out of date factor nearby 
that's doing some repairing of certain things, either tra uh, either tracks, roads, building, or something. I don't know. That's just that's that is odd. Humanoid Encounters is a popular subreddit that many people use to either share or watch videos relating to various different creatures such as the elusive Bigfoot, aliens, etc. One user in particular named they look for Skinwalkers, Aliens, Sasquatch, that is sure to chill your or Bigfoot. Bones. The uploader describes that the video was filmed on his uncle's security camera outside of his house in West Virginia. He goes on to say that his uncle lives quite far off of the main road, meaning that there aren't too many people around the area, which makes the following clip all the more terrifying if it is indeed real. If I live Let's off the road, the like video. far from like main road stuff, uh, I will get something called RPG. Bird Beakman says that the video left both him and his Beakman? uncle extremely frightened, which is definitely understandable. Seeing as how the uploader's uncle lives far off of any main road, it wouldn't make sense for there to be people wandering around that area late at night that and like in front of his people. house of all places. either a mysterious figure or some sort of shadow person captured on camera. There has never been a follow-up video to this one published online, so one can only hope that the uploader and his uncle figured out what was lurking around outside his home that day. What do you think this was? Was this footage of a ghost or shadow person? Or was this simply a person cloaked by the shadows of the night? Leave all of your thoughts in the comments below. All right. I would have thought it was just like a bug flying past the thing, but then again, you saw the shadow went past the rails and it was actually behind the rail. So it was actually going from stairs down to whatever that bush was. But that kind of debunks the whole bug flying past the camera, I guess, hypothesis, synopsis. Yeah. He lives in the middle of nowhere. It's very translucent. If I had a reference of like somebody walking in his camera to see how the camera picks up actual people will determine a little bit more of how I feel about this, especially if somebody runs by fast. Like I can get my kid to like run, like jump off the stairs to run and just jump into the bushes. So if the camera is like fucking 2p or not even 2p, like two frames a second and I just have a kid just jump out and then just jump into the bush that's plausible so if I get a reference of how people look in this camera especially at nighttime because usually when it comes to nighttime your camera kind of stresses more and it kind of makes the frame rate go down modern cameras even the phone built-in cameras they're starting to get better for night vision stuff like back when I had like the galaxy 7 or galaxy eight taking either photos at night or videos at night is very framing then during the daytime it's like rapidly clear but that's where i leave it off at 33 to 23 next one will be 22 to 12 then lastly 11 1. hope you guys have been enjoying this little tiny i guess bit by bit pieces of this source book video there is another one on his channel i believe has a hundred I'm going to ask you guys once again, do you guys want to see me do a live stream watching all hundred videos all at once and then just break it down into videos? Let me know because I would not mind streaming it. Just, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Two months ago, top hundred scariest videos of 2023. And it's three hours and 45 minutes. Let me know. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video with Sora Spooks and his 66 videos. We did another 11 today. We'll do 11 next time. As always, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.